What's up YouTube? Um, this is my weekly video. Uh, going to be a little bit of everything again. Um, new books just came out, picked up uh, from my pull list. Uh, um, eBay purchases, stuff like that. And I also got a bunch, got a huge haul of, uh, I guess you can call them, action figures. Okay, and I got a couple cool statues. So, I'm going to start off with the new books like I usually do. Um, Books just came out. Get them out of the way. So, you know, I've only read, I think, one of these so far. I just picked them up last night and um, had to work today and, you know, been busy. So, I've read this one. Uh, we Stand on Guard. This is new Brian K. Vaughn. Um, I guess it's about, uh, well, I know what it's about. It's about the uh, United States invading Canada. Um, and it's about the freedom fighters in Canada fighting back, I guess. This seems pretty cool. I read the first one. I definitely gonna, uh, read this one. I'm gonna, definitely gonna pick out the next one. Um, it's Brian K. Vaughn. Um, good writing. The arc's pretty cool. Um, and the story's good, you know. So, this is Avengers 44. Number 44, this is the movie cover variant or whatever. Uh, Age of Ultron variant. Um, I guess this was... For my previous is the last issue, I guess, and I guess they threw up my pull list because uh, I didn't have it before, so I got it. There's two other ones, variants I don't have for 44, so. Um, picked up New Secret Wars. I just got this cover, um, number four. This has been picking up the action figures. I actually haven't even read the story. There's so many books for this. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm going to bother. Uh, I heard the story's not that great anyway, so. If I'm wrong, let me know whether I should read it. I got all the books, just in... I don't have the regular covers and stuff for everyone. Airboy number two. I haven't read the first one yet. Um, I don't know. I was told it's pretty good, so... I picked up the second ones. Because um, usually when you know, a guy at the school store tells me I probably like it, I usually do, so... Um, Batman Detective Comic. Oh, Detective Comics, 42. Um, that's the regular cover. This is uh, one of the variant covers. The Teen Titans Go variant, and oh, that's it, I guess. There's other two other variants I don't have. Um, new Nail Biter number 14. I'm behind on that, but oh well. I like the story, so I'm gonna keep buying it. This is Outcast number 10. I'm missing number nine. I realized, didn't know that. I have to go back and pick it up. New Jupiter Circle number four. No big deal. Humans number six, missing number five of that. I thought I'd been picking them up every month. Just a cool story, cool, you know. Um, I guess they had come up with a book before this, like a while back, which I need to find. Um, it was like a one shot kind of thing or whatever. But you know, that's a pretty cool story. Um, got the uh, um, barbed wire, this is the variant, um, the uh, Virgin cover. This is by Adam Hughes. There is a second Adam Hughes cover variant. That I would like to get, but I'm lucky I even got this one here. So uh, they only had two issues, and they had a regular cover, and they had this one. So new bunker, awesome story. I am a few issues behind on this one also, but I am catching up on stuff. So little by little, uh, which is why I'm not reading new books that come out. Um, only ones that like number ones and stuff, because I am catching up on my past reading. So big trouble in little China, new one. Um, New God is Dead. And I guess I missed the last one on this one, too. I don't know how. I missed a couple. This is the new Batman Arkham Knight. A big deal. And the last book I picked up is... This is a Sydney Hammer. Um, I guess it's some kind of horror zombie thing. And don't really know what it is. But it looked pretty cool, so I got it. I'm probably going to be reading this tonight, so... Okay, now the new book. I mean, all the, uh, what do you call it, pickups. Um, let me show these first. These are just some, it's a bottom line. You know, I'm not even telling you, I don't even know how much I got these all for. Uh, so I'm not going to bother. It wasn't much. These were all um, no more than six or seven dollars. So they're varying covers. This is the Squadron Sinister. Number one variant, I mean one in twenty-five or something like that. You know, anywhere from I think I got them anywhere from three dollars to seven dollars. I didn't pay. I think 
a P with shipping all these twenty twenty eight dollars I think it was so whatever that equals out to this is a cool cover I saw um, Batman and Rob Batman and Robin number one this is the one twenty five I think these are all one twenty five. Um, one of the sellers I deal with, he had all a bunch of these, and they weren't too bad price, so I got them all. Marshall Manhunter, number one, 125. Prez, number one. First team president variant. Um, and then I got this one. I'm surprised I didn't get. I didn't get this one. I picked up the books myself. This is Thor. This is a uh, kind of like a little little Ant Man one. So, and then this is the last one. At the uh, number two of Shall Reside, um, the Campbell variant. So, pretty cool. So, that's like the one seller, 28 bucks. Pretty sure that's what it was. Um, these were for my local. I got these yesterday, 50% off thing. I think this is a freebie. This is a uh, Avengers Playmation Disney. I think, yeah, I think he's just threw this in for free. It's like a custom edition, not for resale. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I just found it in my bag when I got home. So I had a $5.99 price tag on it though. Maybe that's just the bag they threw it in, but I know I didn't pay for it, so. Um, I got the Nemesis number four. This is the variant cover. Paid $2 for that. These were all 50% off. I got the Amanda Connor Red Sony number one. This is the black and white. Pay two fifty for that. Paid five bucks for this. This is hack and slash. Um, this is the back cover actually. This is the uh, um, Florida Supercon. It's some kind of variant cover for some store or something. But I got her five bucks. Why not? I like hack and slash so. Um, I got this just because it was a cool shiny cover. It's a um, Dynamic Forces. Um, it's the Coven. Um, actually, the I don't know. I like shiny things. And for 250, why not? It's actually it's a Chromium um, cover. Um, this is actually a cover done by Rob Liefeld. The original. I mean, the uh, regular cover is done by Rob Liefeld. And this is the Chromium. Um, the original has, I mean, the regular cover has his signature right there, but this one doesn't. Now these I got for free. Yes, I said free. This was originally like 50 bucks he was going to charge, but then he gave them to me for free because I bought a whole bunch of figures. Okay, I'll just say that. I'll tell you what they are later. But because I bought this huge amount of figures, he gave me these for free. These are all Messiah Complex. This is number one, chapter one, X-Men number one. These are all variant covers too, so. Um, this is the black and white. This is from the uh, uh, Wizard World Texas. Pretty cool. Then this is number two. Um, Uncanny X-Men 492 variant. I'm missing number three, but I did get number four variant. This is the J. Scott Campbell one um pretty cool and this is number i'm missing number five and i got number six though and this is chapter seven chapter eight like i said they're all the variants chapter nine chapter ten chapter eleven Chapter 12 and chapter 13. So I got these all for free. Um, now I'm, only, I'm missing number three, number five, and of course number five is the J. Scott Campbell cover. So the next one's that one's a little bit pricey. And I looked online, I can only find um, for a pretty good price. I found a set, this set basically missing still number three, but it's the rest of the set. Um, with the J. Scott Campbell one. So I might have to buy this whole set again. You know, so um, I don't I don't know because they don't have the I can't find anyone selling the just that one book. Okay, I got these for eleven dollars for both of these because they were fifty percent off. I got a rise of apocalypse. This was uh, six dollars. Fifty percent, so it was a little twelve originally, I got it for six. 
That's number one. And I got number two. Um, that was five. So I got them both for 11. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've been wanting to get these for a while. He's had them up there for a while. I just wasn't willing to pay the price they were at. What was it, 22? I didn't want to pay $22 for two of them. Um, okay, man. This, these are from Jimmy C. I got that black light number one. I've been wanting to get this for a while. It's a okay book, probably around a seven, maybe seven five, something like that. Maybe an eight, but I doubt it. I think more of a seven, seven five range. But for ten bucks, he gave to me, and then he charged me eighty bucks for this. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this is showcase number uh, fifty-five. This is the first. This is the uh, first appearance of Golden Age Lantern and Silver Age the first appearance of the uh, first Silver Age Grundy um, so however I, I had an original deal with him that I was going to be buying a bunch of stuff off of um, I was going to buy his Hulk 181 and he has a 6.0 and he was going to charge me whatever um, but I found a better deal on the 7 so I kind of backed out on that but Along with that, he also backed out on another deal we had where I was going to buy all his Car Nick Hardy art. Um, and he decided not to sell that. But I got these two still. However, he put this in there. This is a photocopy of one of the pieces of art I was going to do. Son of a bitch, I told him. I said I was cursing his name when I saw this. Just rubbing it in. You know, he knows Nick Cardi is one of my favorite. I told him I was going to, you know, show this in the video. He said, go ahead and do it. And he goes, I think everyone will laugh at you. And I says, I'm, I, I told him, I said, I hope you lose subs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's my buddy. Um, someday, I will have him sell this Cardi art to me. And I think I was offering a pretty good fair price, but I don't know. I thought it was a fair price. Uh, whatever. So... Okay, I got this one for 15 bucks. Next book, uh, this is uh, the first Kamala Khan, whatever her name is. This is uh, Marvel Now Point One, number one. This isn't the variant cover. I do want to get the variant cover, but I'm happy to have this one for 15 bucks. I actually bought another book from the same guy. I bought. I'll, I'll tell you when I get to the other book, but I, well, I'll tell you. I bought the Crow number one as a first print. I thought I got an awesome deal. I'm about a fine condition one. For like 80 bucks even in that condition I thought $80 was a pretty good deal for first print I got it it's a third print so I just went through this whole thing I just mailed it back to him today and he's supposed to refund my money but I kept this book so I'm happy to have it I do want to get the variant cover of that though and I wish I would have made the video before I sent it back and could have showed you and then I got another copy of this this I paid twenty dollars and fifty cents this is my second copy and this is actually a nicer copy than the one I got that I paid thirty two dollars for this is the first um, pre-defenders you know the team up of the defenders before they became known as the defenders so uh, this is the book to look out for right now I guess with the all the movies and everything I guess I don't know if there's a, supposed to be a defenders movie I think maybe I heard something about it but who knows and then the last one I paid 50 I think it was $52 for this, which is an awesome price right now. This is Journey into Mystery number 102. Um, and it's in pretty nice condition except for the there's a crease right there. It's in fairly nice condition for 52 bucks right now. This is a pretty good deal. This is a bunch of first appearances. I can't go through them. I don't remember right now. But uh, anyone who will... Let me, that down um but anyone knows for any mystery stuff and thor stuff you know this is a lot of first appearances i still want to get 103 but right now i think that book is a little overpriced so but yeah that's i got one more book to show before i start showing the other stuff i got um and i was talking about the crow i actually had bought one before that i finally got my first printing of the crow um so it's an 8.5 cgc which i'm fine with that i would like to get you know the nine range nine something but they're like way right now the prices of them are crazy i've seen 
a 9.6 for like $900 or something. And there's no way I'm paying that much money for it. <laughs> you know, so. But an 8.5, I paid one. Oh my gosh, how much I pay for this? I think it was 130. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Maybe one, yeah, 139.99. So it was like 140. So that's not a bad deal, I think. Um, I'm happy to have it. I got it other way. I did buy that second book because I was hoping to get a raw copy, and I was going to save that one to get signed um, by James Barr. But I'm going to still try to get a raw copy, um, even if it's a mid grade or whatever. Um, I'm going to try to get one so I can have them to sign it. You know, so but yeah. So I'm happy to finally get that out of the way. Um, now I need two, three, and four, which are not too bad to get. So now get a bunch of figures so I'll start showing them I, I bought these all as one big lot and I'll tell you right now how much I paid for them I paid 650 for everything so I'll show you this is actually when it's been sitting there in front of you this is um, the this is an older Harley Quinn statue this is the new Batman Adventures Harley Quinn this is from Mm. 1999 and it's numbered I can't remember what number it is but it's a lower number oh wait no so it's not scratch it's just styrofoam this is number 282 out of 2500 so it's pretty good um, but yeah it's a nice condition still got some styrofoam on it from being pulled out of the box but they wanted 220 for this just that statue itself so, like I said, I, I got a big, I got, I got bought a bunch of stuff, and I paid six fifty for it. So, oh, plus taxes, so it's closer to seven hundred. Um, but I did get those, those uh, Messiah complex for free. <laughs> okay, now that's why I, I got one other statue to show, but I'll show that last because it's a pretty cool one. Now, this is what the main bulk of these are, and this is what I've been saying: action figures. Yes, I am a grown man, and I bought a bunch of Barbie dolls. <laughs> so, so first one I got, I just got to start showing. I, I don't know, I couldn't pass them up. And they're actually worth some money, like 40 50 I mean, some of them are over 100 bucks. like I got. So, this is one of the cheaper ones, like 40 bucks. This is the Halberry Catwoman. So, that's pretty cool. Um... This one, got this one. This is a poison ivy one. Just look at that. And I got the Wonder Woman one. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I got this one too. It's like a hundred dollar one. This is the Harley Quinn one. And the boxes are a pretty nice condition. So let me get these down. I can't keep them up there. Now, I didn't want all these, but they kind of, it wasn't really much of a difference in price. I, they, I told them there are five of these I didn't, I told them I didn't want. But it was only like $25 different, $25 difference. So I just took them and paid the extra 25 bucks. Some of them are pretty cool. It's the Batgirl, Barbie. That's right, Barbie. Then this is a cool one with a Supergirl, Barbie. That's right, Barbie. And I got. I had to get this one. This is the Catwoman. This is the uh, the one. I guess based on the. Uh, um, let me see. And it kind of looks like the one from uh, what's his name? Um, I just bought the statue for it, Jim Blant ones. But oh well, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if I can say they're cool. For me, I think they're pretty cool, even if they all have Barbies. Um, I got this one. This is actually a little bit pricey. It's like at least a hundred bucks. I think I've seen them online. Um, this is. Mom, Wonder Woman one. 
and everything. It's a collector's edition. And actually, I'm surprised. These are worth <laughs> these are worth money. I couldn't believe it. But yeah, so I got that one. And then I got one more Barbie. This one's in a separate box. I don't know why this one's boxed separately, but it is. I think it's a little, yeah, it's different than the other ones. This isn't actually, no, this isn't, a, that was the last Barbie one. This one here is actually by Warner Brothers. Um, yeah, Warner Brothers, so I don't feel too bad about that. This is a Supergirl one. Um, pretty cool. I don't like Supergirl recently, you know, with the whole TV show hype coming up. I don't know, I think she's, I, I like Supergirl, so, so I like anything the female characters of DC. And I got two, two more of these kind of figures. And these are the new Batman Adventures dolls. These is by these are by Warner Brothers or Hasbro. This is the Robin one. I do want to get the Harley Quinn. That one's actually like I can get it for about $45, 50 dollars. So I think I'm gonna order that. Fortunately, they didn't have it. Then I got the Batgirl one. This Batgirl one's actually probably about 40, 50 bucks too. But I kind of got it for nothing almost. Because, like I said, these two and the Poison Ivy one and two other ones, I can't remember. It was only a $25 difference. So I basically paid about five bucks a piece for these. Actually, I guess they weren't free. Okay, I got one more thing. Now this was the deal. Um, this is what for me made the deal. And I'm so so happy. They've had this in the store for quite a while. And I just never pulled the trigger and I'm glad they still have it. This I'm talking they've had it for a long time. But they've had a twenty percent off their all all their statues and stuff and I got this thrown in with the deal. So I got it. Let me get it up here. It's a little heavy. That's right. If you can see, you can already probably tell. This is the J. Scott Campbell. Let me see if I can get a light on it. Um, Gwen Stacy by Sideshow Collectibles. This is a $400 piece right here. And I only paid about a hundred and 25 dollars with this for this when i add, add, added this on to the other book things the only charge this was like they wanted 270 for it but then it had 25 percent off and um no 20 percent off and then i got this thrown in the package deal so i got this i paid about an extra 125 dollars for this book right there yes yeah, so this is a 400 dollar piece but yeah let me just turn this around I don't want to mess it up, so. So, with her umbrella, the rain on it. So, I should have better lighting here, but. is just such a nice piece now I don't have the Mary Jane one which I wish I would have gotten they had it at one point and I should have got it but I just pre-ordered the black cat one for J. Scott Campbell from Sideshow so that's supposed to come out in 2016 sometime but I did pre-order it so I need to make sure I'm going to get that one too and I have another Sideshow collectible coming out within a month or two well, yeah, that's about it. Um, let me make sure I don't have anything else. Oh, I get through with these couple when I bought the new books. And then if you guys got these, the little Secret Wars stand up, so I'm gonna leave them in there in the Lando. Give me a little Star Wars poster. Lando, it's kind of like blah, after showing this stuff. But yeah, so I'm um, very happy to have this stuff. That's it, guys, though. Um, thanks for watching and Buy yourself some Barbies. Be a grown man and play with Barbies. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Bye.